Hey, what's up? It's Raven. Um, basically, this video, it, it could be boring for some of y'all, but it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I, I got bored, so I decided I was going to make another video. Um, my question and tag answer video, I started, I was talking about my hobbies, and I think I said that I was going to make some videos over my writing and stuff if you guys were requested while well, I decided I was going to make one. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell you how I got inspired by writing and why I do it and stuff like that. I started writing when I was in freshman year. Um, I don't know what really got me to write. My um, history teacher, I mean not my history teacher, Mr. Green, which was my language arts teacher in ninth grade, he basically made us like come up with our, with our imaginary, imaginations and like make stories and like scripts and stuff and he always made us, told us like never I don't know, I don't exactly know how to say this, like, he basically had to step out of our comfort zone and, like, I don't know, like, create a whole new world, like, just to be able to, like, explode our imagination or, like, I don't really know, but he was such a big inspiration to me, and I guess that's why I started writing, because, you know, he always said that no matter what, you know, if you have a hobby, like, ex like let it out, like, he always, I don't know, he always inspired me, so... He, he's a big part of what I do and I don't know if he knows that but if he'd ever watch this this is a shout out to you um, but um, basically um, the story that I'm working on now is about a soldier and I have done I've been working on this this story since freshman year and I've put a lot of hard work into it and I'm still on the second draft no I'm on the second draft and it's coming together, but I would say another two years before I'm done with it. But I really want to really work on this to get it good enough so I'd be able to get it published. Because my goal in life is to become a author or a writer. But I do have other short stories that I've done, and I have a couple other like in between stories that I will eventually be um, like getting done. But um. If you guys want me to make a separate video, like basically explaining my stories, because eventually I'll probably just tell you later on about them. I don't know. But, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, I guess I would say, you know, if you have a hobby and you have a certain comfort zone and you feel like can't step out of that because there's people holding you back regardless of what they say or what they try to do or what they say you, they think it's a waste of time because I've been told my writing was a waste of time because basically it made me fail a lot of my school my school year because that's one thing I worried about but I knew that that's what I wanted to do and my heart was in writing it wasn't in school which is it's pretty bad but I don't know, that's the only thing I know, like, even when I'm upset or I'm mad, that I start writing and I'm, I'm straight up, like, I'm okay, and, um, that's how I am with music, too, and that's kind of the way for me to escape, um, but basically, you know, if you have a hobby and you want to do it and you're scared to step out of your comfort zone, you should do it regardless, and it could change your life forever, it could change your life for the better, I mean, it doesn't matter, but... You should never be able to try. You should never be scared to try new things and, you know, step out of your comfort zone. Um, but I guess the reason why I'm saying all this stuff is because I have a story that I've written, and it's about dance. And it's pretty insane because I don't like dancing. Like, I don't have a passion for it. But, I mean, I do have a passion so bad for it, but I don't dance. Like, I don't like to dance. But... I believe eventually I will step out of that comfort zone and maybe start to dance one day. I don't know. But right now, the only thing I know to do is write. Like, that's the only thing I love to do. And I don't know. Basically, I know this video is probably going to be messed up, but I just wanted to get the message out there. Like, you know, always be yourself. Don't let anybody take you down or tell you you're, not, you're never good enough. Just because you mess up or you make mistakes, you can grow from them and become a stronger and better person in life just be yourself like you know stick to your boundaries don't 
do everything, don't go with a crowd. Um, I mean, that's the only thing I know. Like, like I'm not a person that goes with a crowd. Like, I, I'm, I'm a quiet person. Like, I usually stay to myself. Um, but, you know, I mean, there's times where you gotta, like, you know, stick up for yourself. But I really don't know where this video is going, but I just wanna, like, I know I don't have a lot of subscribers or a lot of views, but I'm hoping, like, one of, somebody will cro wanna cross this video and, you know, be in, maybe be inspired by me and maybe even start to write. That's what I wanna do later in life. I actually wanna, like, get inspired. I want to inspire people with my stories and my books and everything and actually help people and, you know, make, try to make anything better that I can. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of winging this video, so I don't know. And my camera is very bad and I'm sorry for it, but it's just going to have to work. It's, I don't know. It's getting on my nerves. I don't know what else to say. I think I'm just going to stop it here because I don't know. Yeah, but if if you guys have any like questions or concerns or anything, please comment below because I, I mean I will make another video. Um, but yeah. Alright, until then, bye.